So I saw a video from 3D Printing Nerd that involved 3D printing a golf driver. It got me thinking, why not print some golf balls? So that's what I kind of ended up doing. Uh, I looked online, found a great model on Thingiverse, uh, which I've linked in the description below. Uh, and originally I printed it at about 75% infill, thinking that I would need some strength to get the ball to go far without breaking, as well as add some mass to it. But when I printed it, a loose belt caused an extreme x-axis shift, as you can see here, and I ended up with these almost perfectly split in half golf balls. Once I picked them up, I realized that they were way too dense and heavy to hit as they were basically rocks, and all I would really end up doing is damaging my driver. If this video gets about 30 likes, I'll reprint the denser balls and hit them even if it damages my driver, so if you want to see that, drop a like. I decided to do some strength tests on the Hemisphere golf balls, and by strength test, I just mean hitting it really hard with a three pound hammer on a post. As you can see, it's quite resilient. Uh, even the usual brittle and weak PLA held up rather nicely, and I really do think that if this wasn't a three pound hammer, it probably would never even damage the outside of the surface. On my second go at printing, uh, I printed at 30% infill with all my belts tightened so I didn't have any axis shifting. When I removed the ball from the print bed, it basically felt like I was holding a ping pong ball. While I knew that because of a lack of mass it would never travel as far as a real golf ball, I wondered if I could use it as one of those practice balls you can buy just to work on your form. Uh, you see these a lot at places like uh, sporting goods stores where they the, the purpose of the ball is to hit it and work on your swing and not necessarily see the ball travel and they're easy to retrieve. Now I've played some golf in the past but as you can see here I'm not exactly a whiz with it. Uh, in the end I realized that I teed up the golf ball in a small low spot in my yard and whenever you're six foot seven like me with a normal length driver it's pretty much a recipe for disaster. Uh, so I moved the ball to a higher point, and although I did hit it a little fat, meaning I hit the ground before the, before the ball, I did hit the ball pretty far. Uh, I didn't have another camera to track the ball, but it honestly went about 250 to 300 yards. I then teed up my 3D printed ball and gave it a whack to see how it held up. Again, I didn't have a camera, but it traveled about 30 yards, and as you can see from the video of me hitting it, I hit it a lot cleaner than the real golf ball. I went and found it and it was damaged pretty badly and I doubt it could be used again, but I did it anyways. Uh, I hit it a couple more times and eventually I was left with a husk of infill. I do think I could make a golf ball that is usable and one that would hold up better, but different materials and construction methods would have to be used. I'm thinking about designing a print with a hollow core and then adding a small rubber ball in the center, uh, then fuse the two hemispheres using heat and some sort of adhesive to see if I could get a better ball that can be reused in the future. In other words, I plan to revisit this idea in the future when I have more time and a little more materials, uh, but for now, my 3D printing golf aspirations will have to be put on hold. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe for regular uploads, and have a great day.